Hey guys, it's Rob and this is the Alien 560 quad, the stretched one. Just currently hovering in GPS mode. You see it's holding its uh, altitude fairly nicely and operating so quietly. This is the 8000 milliamp hour um, zippy battery. What I'll do is just show you how fast it is. Really nice and stable. And that beeping you can hear is uh, the, the throttle at the center position. I've just got a beep that occurs when that happens so I know where the, uh, the middle position is for the hover. But let me show you a full power climb. It just goes up like a rocket. And come back down again. Twelve it's been flying for 10 minutes already. Okay, what I'm going to do is just fly away and I'll turn on the uh, the voice of the telemetry readout so you can hear some of the uh, parameters. It'll give me distance and speed and also the uh, feedback of how uh, how well the signal is being received by the receiver. 76 dB, zero kilometers per hour, 10 meters, climbing. Okay, where we go. Zero kilometers per hour, six meters, climbing. 85 dB, climbing. 38 kilometers per hour, 44 meters, climbing. Yeah, the telemetry is very, very slow in updating. 11 minutes, 78 dB, 16 kilometers per hour, 177 meters, climbing. Now, I think that distance is probably climbing. about right. 1 kilometer per hour, 189 meters, 76 dB. 0 kilometers per hour, 190 meters. I'll take it 250 meters away. And at that distance, you can barely see it. 76 dB, 22 kilometers per hour, 232 meters. Zero kilometers per hour, 280 meters, 74 dB. Can barely even Zero kilometers per hour, 280 meters. I'll just turn that off. I'll just hit return home and uh, let it come back by itself. 70 dB, three kilometers per hour, 276 meters, 10 minutes, return to launch, fail safe on. Zero kilometers per hour, 282 meters, 62 dB, 59. Yeah, it was almost 300 meters away, and I could... Uh, dB, 18 kilometers per hour, 266 meters, 58 dB, return to launch, fail safe on. Just turn all that voice off. Uh, yeah, I could barely see it at that distance, so uh, I just used the uh, automatic return home, and it seems to be working fine. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it's fairly high. But the lights on the front, they're actually just uh, small handlebar lights that you get from a... Um, I got them from the hardware store, they're designed for a, a push bike. And they just uh, grip around the arms very nicely. Gives you all the lights you need for night flying. So it's just doing an automatic landing now, and what I'll do is I'll just take it off that mode in a second. Fail safe off. Attitude mode, manual mode, GPS mode. Okay, it's back to uh, my control. As you can see, it's been flying for probably 14 minutes already and there's just no sign of the, uh, the low voltage light. Climbing. 
it's even in a, a high power climb, there's still no sign of the volt, low voltage light. So, yeah, it goes really well on this uh, 8,000 milliamp hour battery. Just had some uh, really strong wind pick up there, so we'll see how it handles that. But it's a real pleasure to fly, it's so smooth. The biggest thing I notice about this one and flying all my other quads is this one is just much quieter. It's almost like stealth. It's super stable, it really is, just super stable. Climbing. I can hear the wind noise in the trees behind me and I'm just starting to feel that breeze, so let's just put it back into a hover and see what it does. It's getting blown away a little bit, but I'm sure the GPS will pick that up and it'll hold its position. quite gusty at the moment and because the wind's coming from behind me there's uh, a lot of trees so I'm sure there's a bit of turbulence associated with it as well. It's holding its position while well. I'm just walking around to get a different angle. It means it's been flying for 17 minutes already. I, uh, I have a 22 minute timer on this and uh, ultimately it'll fly for 26 minutes. So 22 minutes on the timer is uh, very conservative, but um, yeah, it's going well. Okay, I'll just stop the video there, otherwise it just gets boring. Thanks for watching.